as we see the curtain close on 2021. I wanted to give a big shout out to all those that have participated in teams and especially over the last several months. On behalf of Char, Ryan and myself, I want to thank all the squads for putting the hard work in and relishing the grind. Thank you for showing up at office hours and rallying together to achieve some incredible numbers. We love to see you all grow, and you're the reason we keep showing up. With just over a week left of this six-week sprint, the teams have generated close to a quarter million dollars in new revenue. They had to go out and earn this within the sprint. Old deals did not count. The squads have put the time in, knuckled down, listened and above all taken massive action to achieve this, and I couldn't be more proud. There has been growth from every individual within the sprint, and it has been great for the three of us to see students grow into people with amazing skills and business acumen. We're looking forward to going again and we have some brand new features up our sleeves that are going to really get the blood pumping. New targets, new goals, but only more wins. Happy New Year to everyone in this group from my family to yours. Wanted to thank Dan, Tori, Ipe, our group moderators, and the entire local lead gen group for teaching us and taking care of us. I started my journey here exactly one year ago. I was scared to death about the coaching fee that I just put down. I was hoping that I would at least recover all my fees and operating costs in a year or two. Needless to say, I'm laughing at my past self now. What an idiot. I took eight months to pull the trigger and join local lead gen. That is the singular regret of my entrepreneurial journey thus far. Please feel free to screenshot this post and send it to anyone you know who is on the fence. The feeling of getting paid while you are sleeping is unmatchable. I have been working with contractors for one of my lead gens for three months now. At the beginning there were just two of them. After one month, they employed two additional staff. Today, they advised me they just hired an additional three people. It's their goal to have 20. Moreover, they provided me with 26 additional suburbs they could work in. I did due diligence on all of them, and 23 are low-hanging fruit. So 23, plus the one they are already in, at a current average of $800 per month in revenue. You do the math. I am motivated to say the least. All that plus, the 20 other individual niches I researched. I'm on the way to 100 lead gen sites by December. Anyway, enough chatting and back to content writing. Now is a great time to make offers to business owners. Just like people do on a personal level, business owners set their goals at this time. They plan for the year ahead and work out how they can achieve their targets. We have the answers to their questions. Today, I closed a deal worth £27,000, which is about dollars I have been working on this one for a while. So today I made a New Year offer that expired at the end of the day. They jumped at it and paid a 50% deposit there and then. Make offers, create a sense of urgency and give them a reason to buy now. Your money is out there but you have to ask for it. It is a myth that people don't spend money in January. Serious business doesn't care what month it is. Here's a small win update. I just scheduled a meeting with a guy I ran into a couple weeks ago. We got talking and I told him I build websites for small businesses. He was like, I could use that. Well, fast forward a couple of weeks of texting back and forth. We just nailed down a meeting time and place to go over some options. Not a sale yet, but it will be soon. A, B, C, always be closing. Every interaction is a transaction. I joined in late October and I have major goals for not only this year, but the next 10 years. Let's crush 2022. Swag victory alert. I just called a social media marketer and he agreed to a sales rep arrangement. He has 90 clients. I thought he had more, but there are a few whales in the batch. He wants to become a sales entity for me for a sliver of the pie, a percentage of the profit from sales. He's going to start with an order for himself to see how it goes. Then he'll start reaching out to his clients to present our services. On just one of the accounts he mentioned, he says they regularly spend thousands on hoodies and clothing alone, not including other items. I'm so beside myself that there should be two of me. I'm only 70% through the Learn Swag training. Thanks Ashley, Dan, and Tori for facilitating this whole thing. This training was a no-brainer. Well, I approached another easy money client with a large multiple service business. They are family. They pay 2k a month to a SEO guy already, but they want to see leads, period. If I get this contract, then I can redo and rework everything. I have a week to get a full SEO report going and work this out. There are like 4 to 5 niches attached to this business. Contractors who need more leads for their own in fields like massage, chiro, yoga, and biofeedback. We have got a meeting set for next Wednesday, so I can show the SEO that needs to be worked on their own website. I also do 360 virtual tours, because I am a dork and bought a 360 camera to start a rollerblading YouTube channel. 
I'm now realizing the camera's full potential. I will be meeting with the business owner, my cousin, and two of the chiropractors. Oh my gosh, what just happened? See you all on the live call tonight. Hey everyone, I just had a story to tell. So I have been working with a client for almost two years. Everything went well during this period. Every month he always made money and got leads. When we first started, he had just started his business and had zero sales. Last year, I helped him make over 200000 from me alone. We spoke religiously and he always was happy with how things were moving. In November, we had several calls about doubling next year. When December came, I texted and called him but he never answered. And I never got paid for that month. I was so curious as to what happened that I had a friend call him and act as if he was calling a reference. After a few minutes, my friend called me back and told me that the client spoke highly of me. He said that he is just working on his website and might work with me again in the future. My friend told me to just go find another client and that's just what I did. I started calling local businesses in the area and found one guy who would listen to me. I told him I worked with a company for two years and got them great results. He asked me what company and I told him. It ended up being the company he used to work for six months prior. While on the phone, I had a lead come in. I told him as soon as he pays I would give him a surprise. He paid and I sent him the lead. He ended up closing that lead for a total of 6800 bucks. We started on Monday, and as of today, he has done 10k in deals this week. He'll pay me a grand per month, and he keeps saying he wants to give me a percentage of all the deals at the end of the month, so that I know my work. One door closed for another to open. Here's some little wins. I closed two clients in one day for website and SEO paid monthly. For a total of 7k per year, the day after struggling to settle on a pricing model, I can feel that it's going to start speeding up. If anyone is lost on where to get clients, use Meetup to network. And the Eugene Review Strategy. I have been doing 3-4 to four networking meetings per day, it's extremely valuable. I'm not anyone near where I need to be, but I'm so grateful for my lead gen team. They have helped me realize that the skills I have are valuable and needed. Keep pushing and trust the process, it works. Over deliver, and business owners will literally beg you to stay with them. When a screenshot is worth 10,000 words, I mean dollars. I know we're taught to target the business owners running paid ads, with websites on page 5 of Google, or even Craigslist. But don't be afraid to cold call the big dog every once in a while. I straight up sent a lead to a business owner ranked number 3 on Google, and number 1 in the map pack. And he was happy to take it. We're working out a 10% commission deal sometime this week. I will take them all, were his exact words. Do whatever gets the job done. I just closed my first lead gen pre-sell. Thank you everyone for making this possible. If anyone is having trouble prospecting, remember consistency pays off. Let's go 2022. This is the first of many. I've got five more presentations to go next week. I just wrapped up this deal. Honestly, I need to start recording these calls so you can hear how savage and direct I am with these contractors. This one has gone through two sales guys and two SEO firms last year alone. And he got minimum results. He balked when I said $2,500 per location to build the sites and $1,000 a month thereafter. He said you were the most expensive agency by far. And I said, yup, but what about those other guys? How did you like spending all that time training those bums? Just to get overcharged for minimum results? I'll tell you what. If you pay the invoice now, I'll take 20% off the startup cost. But you have to do this today. Done. Hell yeah. With the ongoing mentorship and coaching, live calls, skill hacks, and so much more. I'm blown away at the value that is in this group. Six years later and it keeps on giving. 2022, I'm coming for you. LG Teams really is another level. I had so much trouble connecting a website DNS I had migrated to my snaps. It was so complicated and confusing. I asked Ryan, who's the ultimate tech support, and he spent the time to solve all the problems for me, and got that site up and running again. I still don't really understand how he did it, but I'm grateful for team members and our guides and teachers along the way, who push us to do our best and succeed. Thank you all. Here we go. This is a page from my hustle handbook. Here are some of the things I've accomplished so far this year. 1. I sent my business projections and plans into Dan a few days ago. 2. I'm now onto video 3 of John Taylor Gatto. 3. I emailed support to have my websites migrated from Weebly to Snaps. 4. I'm working on a new lead gen site as well as building my agency site. 5. I got my business registered with the city. 
6. I set up my Stripe account. 7. I'm three-fourths of the way through the new training. 8. I hit the gym and worked out like a freaking animal. I even got my outdoor cardio in. Now I am setting up my plan for tomorrow. I'm so damn thankful for this group. Happy Saturday, Lead Gen fam. I just want to share one of my first wins. I know this is nothing compared to some of you all in here who are just killing it. But as someone who's taken a while to just get moving on building my business, it feels like a milestone to me. I own a successful video production agency already, one that has dipped its toes in web development, stuff that is much more custom, coded, and complex than what we do here. I had a friend of a friend reach out to me about having my current agency do a website for his small construction company. I let him know the general price range for my agency and the developers who work for me to handle the project. It is upwards of 30k. I also very casually mentioned that I have been working freelance, doing SEO optimization. Next thing you know, I've closed my first SEO and web build gig as a freelancer. Now it's time to make it happen. Feel free to leave any tips for a newbie. I'm definitely feeling the fake it till you make it energy right now. It's been a while since a post from me went out in this group, for many reasons. But mainly it's because, when you're in the trenches, you're in the trenches. But I thought this win shouldn't be kept all to myself. There is no better way to start my third week of 2022 than to close a 12k web development deal with a 12 months contract for both SEO and GMBs. In May of 2020, I quit my career with no backup plan. At least not until I joined this group. Just a month ago, I was barely covering expenses. I was down to my last savings. But, in the last two months, I closed two deals with business owners for landing pages. For a combined 3500 upfront and paid monthly for ongoing SEO and GMB management. Just today, I closed my fourth deal with a business owner. For this $12,000 web development deal. This post is about sharing success the same way it was shared with me. On days when it felt impossible. If you are in a position where you think it's impossible, let this make you think again. Go for it and have no fear. I would not be where I am today, living my dream as a full-time entrepreneur, if it wasn't for this program, the mentors here, and the community. Thank you Dan for changing my life, wishing you all a beautiful and prosperous 2022. I'm making 2022 my year. I published 10 sites on New Year's Eve, and I got my agency site up and running. I just closed a web build for 750 bucks. I realized after, I should have charged more, but it is still a win. Now I need to keep it rolling, let's go. Next on my list is to register my business and source content writers. I would love tips for hiring freelance without sacrificing quality too much. I am now closer to doing lead generation full time. I just signed another client today for a small monthly fee and on a per job basis. I went through all of the ways I could help him. I solved his objections about paying for a service and not getting results. You've got to be able to handle the ebbs and flows of sales and be a great listener. Your prospect will tell you what you need to solve. If they don't, that's on you for not asking the right questions. Cheers to being one giant step closer to being full-time in my business. Let's make our dreams a reality this year. Today was the first day I actually connected a warm lead with a business owner. It was a juicy lead and I told him I just needed the job done well. And that I didn't need anything for the lead. I simply passed it along to a friend of a friend who has a business in that trade. He said if it closed, he'd give me a commission or a finder's fee. I told him that people actually ask me for that service from time to time. He then said he'd take any leads I can get. So, it looks to be the workings of my first rented site. It just ranked 2. I freaking love you guys. One site down, 99 to go. Fastest I've ever seen a GMB rank to the number one spot. It got verified on Sunday and by Thursday, it was in the first spot in getting leads. Hold up. What's up family? I just closed a deal for a web build for 2500 and the potential to do SEO for up to 1500 per week. Also, I didn't post this last week, but I closed a lead gen site for 500 per week for 12 months. Let's keep grinding. I'm getting closer to my year goal. What a great start to my week. I had a client a few years ago that dropped me as her SEO guy. Fast forward three years and she's nowhere to be found online. I closed her today for more than double what she was paying me when she left. Boom. I still get super excited when I realize how awesome being in this group is and the power it gives us to get a little freedom. Most of you guys know that I started an arbitrage business from one of my lead generation properties. Last week, I was able to bring in more money from that than what I used to make in a month. All while staying at home working on my lead generation business. The lessons I've learned in this group and listening to the leadership here are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I just feel so blessed to be a part of this group and I am excited to see what this year has in store for us. 
So, I got my agency site up on Saturday, and I am not even finished building it. I only have one service page done. Already, someone found me and contacted me from another province. Now I've got one lead gen site to build for him and possibly another in a city he is expanding to. Mind blown. It feels good when you've explained everything clearly to a cold prospect and they agree to a 2k per month pre-sold lead gen on the spot with payment up front. I just finished up the last class of Mike's Force 42 program. All I can say is that my mind is blown. Before even finishing the course I had landed a monthly deal and I have multiple other business owners reaching out to set up time on my calendar. His course gave me the skills to take my prospecting and sales process to the next level. I would highly recommend it to anyone looking to surpass their goals this year. If you ever wonder what the value is that you bring to the table with the knowledge you learn here, here's a thought. I had dinner with somebody tonight who works for a well-known brand. They told me that the company previously paid an outside agency 250k per year for SEO, and they recently hired a full-time employee at 110k a year to do their online marketing. I let this person know that I could provide the same services for half the price and get them better results. So if the company ever decided to let that person go, to please keep me in mind, know your value. But make no mistake guys, lead generation is probably one of the dopest business models out there. The simple fact that you guys are selling data, that's all you're doing. You guys do any research on data. They said data just surpassed oil. There's more data available for sale. It's more valuable than all the oil on the earth, right? You guys are in the, the business of selling data. You're selling a name, a, a phone number, an email, and some information that you generated to a business owner or multiple business owners. What a cool business to be in. Like seriously, you don't have to go and make a product like this. You don't have to go invest millions of do dollars into something. There's a lot of incredible benefits when you really start to look at this business model and go like, dude, he's right. We literally create money out of thin air. All we're doing is selling someone's contact information. What an interesting concept. I can sell someone's data to a business owner that's looking for customer's data. That's all you're doing. It's it.